morning. This video is for parents. Um, on April 3rd, the district's going to be mailing out some packets that is supplemental work. So it'll be stuff that we've already done for kids to practice and just strengthen their skills. So this video is for parents to kind of explain maybe some of the ways that we're doing things and teaching things that are different from the way that we learn them. So the first thing that I made here is just a model. Your students are very familiar with this. This is our rainbow math to 10. We have a base 10 math system, obviously, and so it's really important that students understand the numbers that they can put together to make 10. So zero and 10 make 10. One and nine make 10. Two and eight make 10. You understand the pattern. So it's really important that students can do that with automaticity. I have eight, how many more do I need to make 10? Two. Okay, so that's just something you can practice. You can make, students can make their own rainbow math to 10 with crayons. Just an easy way for you to practice a skill that, um, that they're gonna use as they continue through math. Another thing that I wanted to show you is we've done this several times and we're just going to continue this throughout the school year, but I wanted to model for you how we're solving um, addition problems. I know that when we were in school, we stacked the numbers on top of each other, added the columns, carried the, um, carried the one. So we're doing things a little bit different, um, but still the same idea but um the idea is that they're then understanding the concept and it's not just carrying a one but you've actually made a 10. okay so i want to trace i have 12 plus 14. we'd model that by making 12 with a picture 12 is one stick of 10 and then two ones so we're really working on trying to solve math more efficiently I could have made 12 dots and then made 14 dots, but that would have taken more time. So we're working on being more efficient. 14, of course, would be one stick of 10 and four ones. And then to figure out 12 plus 14, I just go, well, 10, 20, count my 10s first, and then 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now, as grown-ups, you and I look at it and say, oh, there's one, there's a 10 and a 10, 20, oh, the ones, 2, 4, 26, very easy. We are hoping to develop that automaticity and that understanding of 10s and 1s in our students earlier. Okay, I've got one more that I wanted to model for you because this one you'll see why the rainbow math to 10 is so important. You have 22, I'm going to model that as two sticks of 10 two ones and then 18 one stick of 10 and one two three four five six seven eight but I see eight and two and I know that eight and two are partners to ten so I know that I could cross these two out add them over here and this becomes another ten now that's more efficient when I add them up I can say 10 20 30 40 As those packets come out, they'll have stuff like this. We've already um, worked on solving addition and subtraction up to 40. Okay, and throughout the school year, we're just going to continue that up to 100. Okay, this can also be done with subtraction, of course. You're just modeling both numbers and then crossing out until you find the answer. If you have any questions, I'm going to have office hours. I'll be available via email, um, 9 to 10 a.m. and then again at 6 to 7 p.m. So if you have questions, you can always email me. And I'm going to record a read aloud for your students later. Okay, see you soon.